Hi. Part two of the unboxing video. We got the PlayStation 5 HD camera. So this is what I will be streaming from when I'm playing the PS5. Figured I might as well, you know. Well, I should probably have the box in the video when I'm unboxing it, right? controller. Oh wow, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. Got an instruction manual. That's all, that's all there is in the box. One cable. The cable is like bigger than the camera itself. So just for a side-by-side -side comparison, I have the the old HD camera right here. So this is literally half the size. That's what I'm using now. Um, hopefully it clips onto the top of the monitor as well as the old one. I really have no issues with the old one other than this was, I think this was $50. It might have been $30, but I figured, you know, new console, new camera. It's not like I'm just going to throw away the other one. I'll probably use that one still, too. Anyway, I won't know the quality yet, but yeah. Look at that. It looks like a Wally, -E, right? It looks like they ripped off Wally's -E head here. You got the eyes. I immediately touched the lens. That's probably not what you should be doing. Um, I don't anticipate needing these directions, but let me just make sure. So this is the clip. Oh, hey. It's literally Wally. -E. Okay. Connect USB type A port on the back of the PlayStation 5 console and then center the camera on top or in front of your TV. So that's why it does this. You could just set it in front of your TV. That's nice. Or you could have it hang off a monitor like I will be having it. I'm going to need to get some scissors for this. I don't have any at my desk. But uh, yeah, let's see if it hangs off the monitor as well as the old one does. So, first impression, I'm going to say it doesn't. I mean, it's definitely going to hang there, but it doesn't feel like it has... Oh, well, maybe it does. The old one, I'm just used to. It's bigger. Yeah, it's it holds on pretty good. Alright, I'm going to flip the camera around. So, yeah, it's holding on pretty good. This is the old one. And with the old one, you know, cats grab the wires behind my computer sometimes, and well, they've yanked it down a couple times, but this thing is solid. This thing is solidly on here. Pretty solid. I can slide it back and forth. I'm not too worried about what happens to it. Obviously, I'm going to be a little more gentle with this one, but it's, it's still pretty solid. I'm... I'm worried about the first time a cat rips the cord down, because you know it's just inevitable. But, also, while we're here, I know this is a PlayStation camera unboxing, but I've been using these since, I want to say October, the PlayStation 5 headset. Um, they hold the battery really good, they're really comfortable to wear. I have a big ass head. So, headsets are not usually very comfortable for me. And I need these when playing with friends. They're very easy to just mute. There's a mute button, change the volume settings. Um, 
There's other things that I don't even know what they do. It says chat and game. This one says off monitor, whatever that means. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they hold the charge really well. Um, or you could play with them wired. I got the wire right here. And if I'm, if I'm low on a charge, I just plug them in and keep playing. So the on button is here and this little blue light turns on. I'll, I'll show you guys what they look like on. I know you're dying to see, right? Just, just dying to see. Yeah. Oops. So when I'm streaming, I play a lot of cross-platform games and I have to play on Discord through my computer, but I can't get the sound through my headset when it's and the game from PlayStation. Like I can't get the game sounds and the Discord chat. I don't know if I'm just dumb or anyway. I play with one kind of off the ear. And that's just me. I don't know why I told you that. I don't know why I told you that. If anyone has a solution for that, let me know. Please. Please help me out. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this unboxing.